In this video, we will learn how to install the current Python version. With that, we will also run our first Python program after installing. Let's start. At first, go to the web browser. I am using Chrome. You can use any web browser on Google type Python and press enter. On pressing enter, the official website is visible python.org. Click on it. After clicking, here it is, the official website. Just keep the mouse cursor on downloads and the current version is visible which is python 3.11.4 for windows. Click on it to download. The download started, it will complete. The download completed, we have downloaded the exe file. Now double click on it to install. Minimize this, the setup started. Now guys, at first add python exe to path. Click on this. Now click, now click customize installation so that we know what we are installing. Keep all the optional features as default. Pip is used to download, install and manage Python packages. You will be needing this later. So keep it as it is. This will install ideally. Ideally is an ID to run Python programs. Keep it as it is and click on next. Now the advanced options at first select install Python for all users. Rest keep as it is and here you can see. Python will get installed in the following location. Keep it as default and click install. Now it is installing. Guys, we installed Python successfully. You can see. Click close. Now let us verify the installation. Go to start. Type cmd. Click on open to open the command prompt. Now to verify Python installation, type python space hyphen hyphen version and press enter. The current version is visible. That means we successfully installed it. To run your first program, type py here and press enter. This will open the Python shell. Here and I will directly print something for our Sample example, let's say my channel name. So I'll press enter and it will print it. Close it, go to start, type ideally, and here you can see ideally is visible, which we just installed. This is a free ID to run Python programs by Python itself. Here it is. Now you can directly do the same thing. I'll print something, let's say, just type the print command amid things. Okay, I'll press enter and this will print it. Now you can save this file also here. File, save as. Here and let's say I'll name it demo and I'll and I won't add the extension because it will automatically take .py. Click save and that's it. We have saved our Python file. You can open it with you can open it with Notepad or Notepad plus plus. And here is the same single Python code. Here is the code. That's it. So guys, thank you for watching the video.